welcome to Monday Fun Day. Hi. Cheers. Grab a Cheers. drink. Cheers. Grab a drink. Have, have a glass of water. Because yes, we are not on an airplane. We were planning on being on an yes. airplane right now. Excuse Gavin. He's trying to adjust. I'll hold the comments for you guys so, so I can see you. Because even though I have glasses, I still can't see anything. I can't. It's awful. Hello. So, um, well, I had planned Gavin to uh, explain why we are in our humble abode. I yes. suppose not on a, an airplane. So there are reasons. Um, <laughs> it's totally valid though. So what's, so what's going on? First of all, let me just zoom in so we can see you guys, our comments better here for us. Hello. Oh, wow. This is great. Hello. That, all your cool. comments are now on our TV. We have a giant TV behind us. This is great. The computer right here, we zoomed in, so it's fantastic. So now we, you have no excuse to not know what you guys are asking. And you got your glasses on too. <laughs> <laughs> so we are just relaxing tonight, having some beers here in our apartment instead of being on a plane because we, of course, we're planning and booked lots of stuff for our vacation and uh, over to California and also, of course, to vlog for you guys. But we are working on a big project right now. It is something that we have been working on for months and we are really excited about it. It's, it's, it's huge. And we are working with some great teams. Uh, it's, it's staff that, work, it's not just the two of us. We have a great team working with us, but of course everyone has lives and schedules. And right now, this week was a time where we could all meet and really dig deep into this. So that is why we are going to go ahead and focus and stay home this week, instead of going to California, that way we can work with the team on this project. And it's uh, really exciting. We're not gonna give away too much detail just yet, but it is, uh, <laughs> I honestly, I know you were just talking, but I'm trying to like pay attention to all the comments, okay. and so I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> oh my God. I gave a reason. I'm so sorry. I'm I gave so a sorry. reason for why we're not in California. We're working on a big project, just in oh, case yeah. you forgot. We're working. <laughs> no, we, this is our first beer. We yeah. promise. Um, oh we gosh. we're working on a big project, and we this is the time where all our staff that we're working with, all this great this team that we're working with, is fantastic. Again, it's a big project. It's bigger than us alone so we uh, were able to finally find a time this week to be able to really dig into it deep I so. know it just it, it hurts me probably more than him because I have been planning this California trip for so long even before we told you guys that we were gonna go we had been planning it and I have just I'm, I'm crushed I am crushed like my heart hurts I really wanted to go to Not Scary Farm and do all that stuff. And we bought tickets. We bought tickets yeah. to these events. So it hurts even more, especially my pocket, my wallet. But um, hopefully it'll be worth it yeah. once you guys see what it was for. <laughs> we, uh, we are, yeah, we're really interested in doing this and doing it right. And so we, of course, uh, we priorities that's when it came it came down to that we have priorities we got to focus vacations are great and of course we would have been able to provide all kinds of cool vlogs for you guys over in california but we did it last year and we had a great time so we'll be back we will go there and we will do not scary farm and all Absolutely. the fun halloween stuff again it's just yeah so uh, i want to say hello you guys say hello to i people. know hello we have lulu hello uh we have of course steph, steph. williams steph williams i hope you're drinking i hope you're I, skyler uh, Sky likes your shirt. Steph likes my shirt. This is well, it's my shirt. But I'm letting him Woo. use it. Isn't that cool? <laughs> 90s kids. He, was, he wasn't even born in the I 90s. Was born in just talk about I was born second. in 1990. Oh Come my on. goodness. I was alive please. for most of these shirt or for most of these shows when they came on the air. Steph said, "Please tell me you're entering Drag Race." Well, I cannot confirm or deny that we might be going to Hollywood to film something. No. <laughs> In my dreams. <laughs> Skyler is born in 1998. Oh my gosh. It's okay. It's I mean, okay. I feel so old now. But I'm so jealous. I'm jealous you're so young. I can't. You're so young. I cannot with this one. I can't. Oh my gosh. But let's dive into something that we recently finally got to go do. It took forever for us to get into, onto, onto this bandwagon. That's right, that's what our title is. It's Volcano Bay. Yeah. Volcano Hello. Bay! Volcano Bay! We, we finally got to go to Volcano Bay, Universal Orlando's third water, well, they call it their third theme park, but it is a water theme park, mm -hmm. and it is themed. That is for sure. So, main thing that really stands out that I remember about, that I will always remember about this park, is that it is themed to the extreme. Like, it is everywhere you look, there are details, 
and you can go multiple times and every time you go, I'm sure you're gonna spot something new that you didn't see before in the architecture of something or just, it's, isn't that, I mean, am I wrong? Detail, I mean, or for any of you that have been there, please comment and let us know what you thought. Yeah, it's, it's, Volcano Bay is definitely an experience that is like none other, honestly. Um, I love Disney's Typhoon Lagoon and Disney's Blizzard Beach. However, I think Volcano Bay is def has more um, thrill attractions. Yeah. I was screaming like a little girl the whole time. He was legit scared of some attractions. He would not re-ride some of the slides for a second time. Well, okay. I mean, let's, let's, not, be, let's not be shady. But there, I'm not going to name the name but, uh, or the attraction. But there is one attraction on there or in there that I rode and I literally, it was a one person slide and I flipped upside down, hit my head, hit my knee and I came crashing into the water and I got up and I was just like, I'm done. We're going home. It's like- but We didn't. We, we didn't. didn't. No. But I was just like, we're done, Gavin. I'm done. We're done. Let's go. I, I like picked up my little thing. I said, let's go. We're going. I said, my head hurts. This is not happening today. Not today. And then he calmed me down and I got over it and I ate. That's, so that's how I called him down. I said, let's go get food. <laughs> and I said, okay, <laughs> why not? And the food's delicious. Holy moly. Talk about the food for a hot second. The food is phenomenal. And they have so much to choose from and it's all so unique. It is, they have hamburgers, but these hamburgers have all kinds of cool things on it that you would just not expect to have on a hamburger, but it works and it's delicious and it's themed. It's again, theming is everywhere throughout this park. It is beautiful, beautiful. Um, Jeff asked if you lost your swimwear. We did not lose our swimwear. No. Um, Steph but, said she would poop herself. But oh yeah, absolutely. That didn't happen. But let me tell you what, speaking of swimwear for a hot second, I don't like water parks. Water parks are just not my thing. They never have been. So it, it, another reason why we didn't go was also because I was just like, I don't want to go. I don't want to do it, Gavin. I don't want to do it. And then finally I went, but I don't have like really cool or nice swimwear. So it just, I was constantly having to pick everything up, pick it up, pick it up. It so was embarrassing. Here's what, um, some tips for you guys. So when it comes to Volcano Bay, get there early, especially if you can only visit our, our, I almost said our parks, but our city. If you're coming to Orlando, um, I swear, it's still our parks. only the first drink. Um, our parks. If you come to Orlando during peak season, this park is small. Even though when you're inside, though, it doesn't feel small, but it legitimately it is. It is a small place, but they have lots of stuff to do, but it fills up quick. They have a low capacity, also because with the Tapu Tapu wearables that is virtual line systems, they can't have a whole bunch of people using that or it just doesn't work. So they went ahead and have a low capacity at this park and you have to get there early. So I would recommend making sure they're an hour before park opening just to play it safe. And the, early, the earlier you get there, the, the earlier you're gonna leave. So you guys can go and do something else. Maybe go to another park at night, go to Islands of Adventure, go to Universal, or even go down the street to Disney and see like Illuminations or something. You don't have to be there all day. But uh, get there early, uh, pre-purchase your tickets. They have ticket booths at the parking structure. They do have some if you forget over at the uh, entrance of the park after you take the transportation over to the entrance uh, and the Tapu Tapu worked great for us Yeah, we had no problems with Tapu Tapu, but uh, Side note Jeff actually wanted yeah. to know what I was drinking. I am drinking Molson Canadian closer honey. closer. Oh, sorry that's, that's Molson Canadian there you go get yours at Publix or the store near you I'm just joking. I don't know where you can get this, but it's really good. I, I, it's, it's delicious. It's delicious. It's one of my favorite beers. Steph, oh, no, Steph asked if we're sitting. We're actually sitting on the couch. We mm -hmm. are. There are a lot of cushions here. This couch came with a lot of cushions. It's, it's ridiculous. It's crazy. But let me tell you, if you can see, like we're sinking because we've had this couch for a while and this couch is just now, we're like sinking down, almost touching the ground. So. Hey, Alex. Nice. Hello, Alex. Hey, oh, Gabriel. Hello. I know you said hello yes, earlier. Hello, hello, Hi, Gabriel. Hello. Um, Steph said that she, uh, she's so excited and scared to go, but she hates family raft rides. Let's talk about the family raft rides really quick. Yeah. So they actually have quite a few family raft rides at Volcano Bay, and that was surprising to me. And I mean, there was one where literally six could go on one tube down this huge, huge slide. And ironically, we were the only two on it and I was screaming and I was so scared. And this one was just like, she would like let go for like a second 
and I'd be like, Gavin, put your hand back down. Like, I was so mad. I was like, we're gonna flip over. We're gonna fly out of here. Now, I want you to say this though, because I know that there's other comments coming in, like Lulu says she doesn't like water parks either. Uh, he, I, I know he didn't like water parks, but I knew that this would change his, his mindset and mm -hmm. outlook on them. And we were on their main e-ticket attraction, which is the Aqua Coaster. It's called, what is it, Krakatoa? Krakatoa? Mm -hmm. And- Krakatow. Krakatow, I'm sorry. So we were on Krakatow. It is a water coaster, but it does not use water to propel it up um, up the slides like they do over at Typhoon Lagoon on Crush and Gusher. It uses magnetic energy, very similar to what they use on the Mummy and, and also I think even on the Hulk. So it is technology that has not been used before in a water park and it is phenomenal. We were literally getting off of that and he said, what'd you say? I said, I'm gonna buy myself an annual pass. He, we, that ride alone changed his mind. But then throughout the day, we had a great time. Um, it is, if you're not big into water parks, it's definitely the water park to go to because it is, there's plenty to do without waiting in long lines. Like we said, Tapu Tapu worked really well for us. Yeah. We know there's been issues with it in the past, especially when the park first opened, but they've worked on it. And again, we did go on a day where it wasn't really busy. So that's also probably benefiting us going on a day where it wasn't crowded. But uh, most of the stuff you could walk right onto if you're waiting in a line, if it was ride now, we waited probably like 10 or 15 minutes, but I don't think we waited more than 20 minutes for anything. And we were able to do the main attraction, the Aqua Coaster, without having to do Tapu Tapu. Hey Jordan. But uh, that's okay. Uh, but make sure you get there. Everyone's telling me if you go on a busy day, make sure that you go in there and you go and get your spot in line for the Aqua Coaster Ooh, yes. first thing. The Aqua Coaster. And there, do that. There are also lots of beaches, lots of beach space and benches and oh, not, lounge chairs to go ahead and set up your camp at. Um, it's not all just there in front of the volcano. It's in the back of the park as well, and there was no one back there. So when we were walking through the park, it's like, this, there's a whole bunch of seats available. Same thing with lockers. There's lockers in the back of the park as well. Everyone goes to the front of the park to get their stuff. It's the first place they see. They think that might be the only locker location, but there are three locker locations to choose from. So if you go further back in the park, it's gonna be less crowded for you and easier to get to your stuff. And it's so easy to get, get your stuff all throughout the day using your tapu tapu. Absolutely. And you can pay with cash as well for it. So it's, it's nice. <laughs> and Steph, you are funny. Hashtag Steph. What'd she say? What's hashtag Steph saying? What'd she say? <laughs> Sorry, if you guys are just tuning in, we have our comments on our TV, because we're in our living room right now. And so we have our comments on our TV, which is right behind you guys. And so it's, so it's huge. So I can finally see. No one has to squint this week. I know, and I don't have to, you know, go like this down below or anything like that. <laughs> I'm gonna regret that face later on. Let me tell you what. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Ooh, Lord. But if any of you have questions, or if you have experienced Volcano Bay yourself, go mm. ahead and please comment. We can see them right now. Oh yeah. After this, if you're re-watching, if you're not watching this live right now, you can go ahead and comment still, even after this live stream has completed. Uh, I'm going to regret that. I, I'm going to switch that too. I don't know what else. Once again, we're still on our first drink. Okay. We have not been drinking I'm that typing. much. You're so funny. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So Jenny, she's not a water park person. Yeah, herself. it's so it's so weird. Okay, so from a non-water park person to another non-water park person, it I would suggest to to go. To go. Only because to get the experience of it. Because if you if you like food, definitely the food is delicious. It's not just a hamburger that they just slop together and say, here you go, enjoy it whatever the food's delicious the atmosphere is fantastic i we slept for a good 30 minutes on the beach um right in front of the volcano and i mean beautiful. the music beautiful. is great the music is different based on what area of the park you're in so if you're over by a thrill ride the music is they have the beach boys playing it's just really fun it's not intense but it's you know a lot more it's faster and then you also have the lazy river and the areas where the, the lounge chairs are set up um in the sand it's more relaxing music so it does put you to sleep it's fantastic um now i have to say miss walt disney world fan you, hilarious that is so far hilarious. the best comment of this week's monday fun day because i am a huge as you guys probably already know you probably already know this um i'm a huge seinfeld fan and she just made a seinfeld reference which is one of the best episodes there was no shrinkage there was oh no gosh. shrinkage oh my gosh. no frightened turtle here oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh i can't see there's someone i see wedding wedding plans wedding plans are going great um 
as you all know, we had a, our wedding that was supposed to be next month in November. Uh, well, no. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. We're not, yeah. We're not in October yet. No. Two months. Oh, yeah. God. It's still God. the end of September. I keep thinking it's October as no. well. But we had to, yet again, move our date to next year. So we're going to be married November 17th, 2018 because of what we're doing. That's, uh, that's what I want you guys to realize that we are putting all of our effort into this this energy we this got huge the little bit of thing. energy we have is going to go into this big that's thing. coming out in like late fall so i hope it's received well <laughs> but we had to move our wedding we had to move our trip unfortunately so i think gabriel you asked um are we excited for california unfortunately we we are not able to go to california this year and we had to cancel our plans last minute and it Hurts to even say that. But well, for you guys, on the plus side, you get to hang out with us today. We weren't, yeah. playing, we weren't going to do Monday Funny Today because we were going to be traveling. So we're enjoying this. We're just relaxing. And my phone keeps going off because it has that voice recognition. It thinks I'm talking oh to gosh, it. Sorry about that. But um, we're going to go. I mean, two more Volcano Bay questions here, which are oh, really okay. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And since that's kind of our topic this week, I want to answer those as well. But you can ask us questions about anything else, like the wedding. Um, so do you like Volcano Bay more than Disney Water Park? Skylar, that's a great question. Um, I prefer Volcano Bay. Typhoon Lagoon was my favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, Wet n Wild had great thrill rides, but it wasn't really themed and all about theming. Typhoon Lagoon does better theming than Blizzard Beach. Blizzard Beach for me just does, I don't like it. Um, it does, the thrill's not there and it's just the theme itself isn't, it doesn't really work for me. But Typhoon is still beautiful, but Volcano Bay, I'm sorry, it is, it's stunning. It now, is stunning. Now, for me, I would say, like, like you said, Typhoon Lagoon was my all-time favorite water park if I wanted to go to a water park, which was very, very, very rare. rare. We never did that. This was our Volcano Bay with you. That was our first time going together. Really? Yeah, we never did a water park before. Oh. We never did Wet n Wild before it closed, and I wanted to do that. But he just doesn't do water parks. Yeah, but um, I would say Volcano Bay. Definitely Volcano Bay. For sure. Volcano Bay. Yeah. It's so cool. It's so um, neat. Jenny asked another uh, question. So Disney water parks do close uh, for seasonal rehabs. Ah, uh, yes. Now they do it like this. They'll have Blizzard Beach close, but Typhoon Lagoon will be open and vice versa. So there's always a Disney water park open, uh, but it's, Volcano Bay will not be closing down for seasonal stuff. It is gonna be a year round park, 365, just like the other two parks and like all the theme parks here in Orlando, unless there's a hurricane coming through. But yes, Volcano Bay will be open anytime so because i mean even though it's freezing for us in january i'm sure it's like a nice spring day for those up i mean from canada or up just up north i know it, you guys get some crazy winters so you can come down and still enjoy some cool weather but also in a water park absolutely and uh steph asked if we are going to hhn again hopefully maybe yeah, yeah we were actually talking about that now that we had canceled our uh california plans our roommate was like well since you had to do that why don't you guys just focus on all the Halloween haunts that are over here in Orlando and in Tampa. So we were thinking about it. We were like, okay, well let's, cause we had not planned on, you know, buying a frequent fear pass at all or anything like that. So now that we have the time, we might end up actually doing it. So possibly. Possibly. Probably. Probably. I wouldn't doubt it. Under, uh, Undertaker Punk, made a good comment here. Um, the only thing I miss about Wet n Wild is the Florida resident prices. Now, this is something, if you guys have been to Wet n Wild before, or if you are local, uh, Wet n Wild was owned by Universal for the longest time, since I think 97 or the late 90s. But Universal really didn't market it as their water park, even though they really did own it. Uh, just because it really didn't fit the Universal mold, I think Universal always had plans to go ahead and do a major rehaul on it or tear it down altogether and make it its own thing. And so this park is completely different from Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild was cheaper because it didn't really have the theming and the elements. It was just, it was old and it showed its age, even though it was fun still. This park, the reason why it's more expensive and it's just because it's more of a theme park experience. It's uh, on property and it's just, it's more immersive. So obviously it's gonna cost more, um, and, but it's worth it. It is worth the extra cost compared to Wet n Wild. I'm gonna answer two questions in one Go ahead. while you read Norma's. Norma's yeah, okay. question, so you can get ready for that. So I think it was Lynn and Jeff. Lynn, we do not actually have a wedding planner. Uh, we are doing it ourselves, And uh, we do have a friend who's helping us with decorations and putting that together. So, uh, but yeah, so no wedding planner. And Jeff, yes, every one of you are invited to our wedding. Don't worry, we got you covered. 
we have an idea. We want to do it because we thought that when we, after we got engaged, I don't know how many of you had followed us because of the engagement, but I proposed to Gavin at uh, uh, Disney Boardwalk Resort, and uh, it was this nice, big, elaborate thing. And um, after that, we were just like, well, let's keep our wedding private. Let's not, you know, post it on YouTube. Let's not do that. Let's just keep it with you know, the family and friends that are there. But then we had so many of you that were like, you guys are like family to us, honestly. I know we say it all the time in our vlogs. We're like, oh, you're our family. You guys are our family. But we honestly feel like you are all our family. You have been with us through everything that we have gone through the past two years that we've been doing this. So, uh, of course, we are going to find a way, and you will all be there on November 17th, 2018. Yay. <laughs> Was this the comment right here? The question? Yes. Well, you said Norma. No, Norma. no. Oh, wait, wait. No. It was... Oh, no. Now I can't find it. I didn't see it. Scroll up. Yes. Oh, We're gosh. Scroll up. Um, someone asked, I think it was Mel Miss Walt Disney World fan, if you asked if there is heated water, the water is heated. Uh, uh, no, I'll continue with that. <laughs> so, okay. uh, yeah, the water's funny. heated through all the slides and all that good stuff and the lazy river and the rapid river. However... Let's just talk about the wave pool. The wave pool is like the Atlantic Ocean. It's refreshing. It was freezing. Refreshing. I stepped in and I said, "Ah." Oh. He stayed in it. Though. I said, "I'm out." He stayed in it. I said, "I'm out." He That's stayed. it. Too cold. We were there for thirty minutes. He too stayed. cold. Too cold. Yeah, thirty minutes. I look like that. I don't know if you guys remember seeing that meme of like that horse stomping its feet like this really quick. You know what I'm saying? That's what I look like. I was in the water going like this, stomping my feet, trying to keep warm. It was freezing. It was refreshing. It was great. Freezing. It was clean and crisp. It was fantastic. That wasn't a question, by the way. She was just talking about how she bought the dining plan for 50% off. Oh. Because they are offering, Universal is offering 50% off the dining plan for pass holders um, inside the park. You can't buy them at the front of the park, but if you go inside to the restaurants, I'm not sure how long this is going on for. I don't really know too much about it, but I know that they were doing, they may not still even be doing it, but I know they were doing 50% off the dining plan, a universal, the quick service dining plan inside the park at the restaurants. It's usually $23, so that's a sick deal because I mean a meal, uh, I mean a chicken and rib platter is $17, a burger is like over $14 over at Simpsons. So that's, I mean, it's free food pretty but much. Yes, we are going to go to Hollow Scream. Hollow Scream? We are going to Hollow Scream for sure. Tim and Jen Tracker had a great time. It looked like oh, we yeah. watched there. We have to go do blog yeah, and, and it looks great. They have a new house. They have a new scare zone. Fantastic. Wait, loaf a lot. If you had to pick one state to travel to, uh, to put the lotion on on its skin, skin, which one would it be? What? Am you... I too drunk for this? No, we only had one beer. So, wait. Okay, if we have okay, if we had to pick one state to travel. We had to pick one state to travel to for to put the lotion on its skin. Which one would it be? I would have to say April 25th because it's not too cold and not too hot and you just need a light jacket. What are you... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to regret oh that gosh. too. I don't know. Wait. That was from Drop Dead Gorgeous. But that made no sense. Lofala is laughing at us. I know. If, if, if retype your question if we're not answering it correctly. We're uh, a little confused. I'm sorry, I failed. Lulu, Gavin Patch. Hey, Gavin Patch. That's, Hello, that's, that's me. me. <laughs> Hello. Wait, I was gonna say Jinx, you owe me a coke, but I'll just take drinks. Ooh, Gabriel, thank you. He says I wanted to let you know that last Monday Fun Day appears that it's still live on YouTube on my notification list. Oh my gosh, you mean your camera's been on for a whole week? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Y'all don't want to see that. <laughs> oh, no. Are you are drunk? drunk? No, I Disney wish. Miss Walt Disney no, no, we are not drunk. No. Uh, we actually, uh, we, we went out to lunch with my parents. <laughs> and um, then we were like, well, let's just have a beer while we do Monday Monday. Mm -hmm. And because I'm depressed and I'm upset... That we're not going to California. Ooh, I'm so mad. Stop saying it. it. Doesn't hurt if you don't say it. But it's still it's still like a fresh wound because right now technically technically right now guys we would be on a flight to California. 
Moana see. Oh. <laughs> see Moana. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, we're not helping ourselves either because like yesterday we were we had a lazy afternoon and we just watched YouTube Yikes. videos. I know, Skylar. Um, Don't judge, I'm sorry. So we were watching we were watching YouTube videos and it was all the stuff, the coverage of the Halloween events like Not Scary Farm over in California and we were watching it and I was like, maybe we shouldn't watch this right now because it is kind of, it's like pouring salt into an open wound. Cause, I know. But it's still entertaining still. What, Justin Scar? Yeah, Justin, Justin Scard. Scard, you guys, if you follow Justin Scard or if you don't want to know who he is, look him up on here. Oh, yes. He did this 30-minute, but it flies by real quick. It, I mean, a 30-minute vlog on Ooh. his time. He went to the media event for Not Scary Farm, and I am telling you what, that editing, and so good. it was so amazing. Like, it was scary. Like, we were sitting here. Yeah jumping because just the the shots he got he get you he, so he, he's able because when you do press events you're able to film inside the houses so he was able to go into the houses film edit it to the point where like you really are jumping i screamed a couple times so if i say if you watch that justin scarred not scary farm video 30 minutes worth every single minute mm -hmm. but do it in the dark turn the lights out do it in the dark and it'll be like a scary movie Undertaker Punk, real quick, you do have a great question here. Do you think Universal will bring back the Rocky Horror Show? Um, oh, I would. You know, for a second show at Bill & Ted, since Bill & Ted's leaving. Oh. Now, here is what I think. I A lot of people are saying that they're getting rid of Bill & Ted because the theater's going to be knocked down. I don't think the theater's going away right now. I think it will eventually get to that point, but I think it's staying put for right now. I think Fear Factory will return after HHN is done. But next year, if that theater is still there... I don't see why not. I mean, why would they not use a horror makeup show? That would be a fantastic per show to put in there. Since they really only have one theater now for shows. They have the temporary stage. Wouldn't that be great? I love it. I think they'd bring it back. Bill & Ted is like relaunching. The company that owns Bill & Ted is relaunching the franchise. They're making a new movie. And I think the costs for the rights to that went up. And I think Universal's like, we're good. We're not going to pay that much. So I think that's why it's going away. I don't think it's because they're tearing down the theater. Um, but that's what everyone's saying. I, I, I disagree, but you know what? I love the rumors and you gossip. You never like know. You never know. You never know. It would be cool, though, to get something like the Ministry of Magic over there. But now they have all that space. That land is huge where Dragon Challenge was torn down or is in the process of being torn down. That space is huge. Huge, huge, huge. All right, let's go back to some oh, comments Michelle, here. bye. Thank you so much bye, for Michelle. joining us. Bye, Michelle. Thank you. And Jacob, 15 red apple. Oh, my what? gosh. I'm... Yeah, on the record, he's had 15 of those. No, no, no. Of what? Red apple ale. Oh, well, okay. Before the cider. Oh, well, thank you for letting us know, Jacob. Oh, before puking. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I love random stuff. It's me. Skylar, he spends hours editing. I, and it shows. It shows. Like, ugh. It was so good, but yet again, it made me so sad that we won't be able to experience it this year. Crazy. Um, let's see here. Sorry, again, we're looking at the TV. I don't know how this looks. I camera. know. We're, so we're trying to look at the TV. If you guys are just joining us, the comments are behind you guys on our TV because we're in our living room. So that's why you see us looking over that way from time to time because I'm trying to read the comments as they come in. Um, Gabriel likes my shirt. Yes. Yes. Again, I will model this for you guys. We got all the cool Nickelodeon cartoons from the 90s, but I noticed something. We were in a store today. <gasps> And I noticed that there's no Doug. There's no Doug, but it's because Disney bought the rights to Doug. So, so speaking of Bill and Ted, really quick, another rumor or little <laughs> thing that I think is not just because that um, I think that they're leaving because they're going to tear down the theater, but I also heard, so just take this for what it is, that Universal um, no longer has the rights to Bill and Ted. After this year. I just said that. Oh, you did? I said that. <laughs> darling, darling, darling. Oh, my goodness. Oh my so I here... I regret that, too. Ooh, wait, someone All said... Regrets. Miss Walt Disney World friend said, did Bill and Ted get too big for their britches? It's... Yeah, they're relaunching. So the Universal Pictures did not do Bill and Ted. It is a... I don't know which company. I don't know if it's Paramount or Fox. But Universal has been paying every year to have the rights to the franchise. They're rebooting the franchise. So there will be a new Bill and Ted film coming out. I don't know when. And obviously that means that they're going to be 
and you know, back in the spotlight which means that they can get more money for using their likeness and things. So the company that owns it probably went to Universal and said, if you want them to come back, this is how much it's going to cost. And I think Universal said, no, that's too much money. We got other things going on right now that we're building and planning. So we'll just not bring it back. Maybe we'll come back in the future down the road again when the pricing goes down on it. But right now, I think they're just going to save their money and use it for something else. I think Rocky Horror would be fantastic and I think it probably would be more economical because they're right now it's not really it's just you know it's there but they're not doing anything big with that right now so I would love it to be Rocky Horror personally Kendrick hello hello Kendrick. and uh, Phenomenal Brandy I did not know this what? Phenomenal Brandy just said how do you feel about Adam LeWu stopping his vlogs I did not know this did he really say that I we have we have a caught we haven't caught up like the past what, three we're, weeks I think a week. Okay. I've been following it. But okay. I think I haven't. So I didn't. I didn't even know that. I didn't know that's that's news to us. Adam the Woo stopping his vlogs. His last vlog was yesterday. Get out of here. Oh guys, come on. Don't do this right now. I don't need another beer, and I'm gonna finish this one. I yet. did not know that. Oh my god. Like, what's he gonna do? Is he not doing daily vlogs? Is he going back to just his like the regular? I don't know. He's fin he finished the daily woo. Ugh. Uh. So he'll still be on YouTube just doing his like edited vlogs, which I enjoy tremendously. I mean, he's a great guy. He is so nice. So nice. He has, Skylar said he has something else coming. Okay, good. Just taking a hiatus. Oh. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I mean, not good because he's not doing the daily woo. I mean. But still. I hated that he got so much flack for moving to, to California. I think that is... I mean, based on what he loves to do, which he does a great job at presenting filming locations and history and things like that, and there's so much of it there. I think people just have the wrong mindset and wrong outlook of Hollywood just because it is so mainstream. I think he was showing a completely different side to it, and I totally supported his decision to be there and stationed there and not do driving around. That has to be so lonely and boring sometimes to be out there like that. I mean, I'm, I know he loved it, but I, I stand with his decision, and even doing this, you got to take some time off. You gotta do what you gotta do. Take care of yourself first. Hopefully he's got something really cool coming down the line though. Ugh, that... I can't believe that. Now I have to go watch that vlog. I didn't see that, of course. I'm, I'm behind on a few, but he, like you said, is all caught up. But, well, now he is. <laughs> Thanks to Phenomenal Brandy. <laughs> oh. Thank you, yeah, she said y'all are real fans. That's why I brought it yes, up. Thank you for thank you. Yes. Letting us know because I had no idea. After this, you know, we'll be watching on YouTube yes, after now, we're done here. Now you'll know what we you know, we're doing for the rest of the night, getting caught up on our Adam Wu vlogs oh. and shedding some tears and probably drinking some more of these then. But yes. Very <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys, um, again, title of this vlog or not vlog of this live stream is Volcano Bay. We talked a little bit about it in our experience. We had a great time. If you guys Ooh. have any more questions, let us know. But it doesn't have to be Volcano Bay related. It can be anything else. But please, Ooh. this is our Q&A time. Jenny, that's, that's a really good question. Why? You don't need to share names, but have you met fellow YouTubers that are nothing like they are on their vlogs? And have you been, have you, have they disappointed you? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We won't mention names. Um. Ooh, I let's let's, 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 let's this be positive, 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 positive. Stop it, positive. So positive. Uh, Tyler Oakley. Mm -hmm. I don't know if any of you who know who Tyler Oakley is. He is. Um, he was a vlogger turned into this huge, 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 just social media guru. I mean, he's unbelievable. If you don't know who he is, look him up. But uh, we we met up. We met him. It was a positive experience. Let's positive just, experience. Positive yeah. experience. We like him. We love him. Don't go. They click off and they think that we're about yeah. to say anything bad things. So about yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we're not going to mention the names to the people that are negative. Are negative. But the ones that are positive, we'll mention the names. But he met up with us and he talked to us. We told him what we were doing and he's like, he gave us so many ideas and it was just so refreshing. And he is literally just like he is on camera. He is in person. So he's a great. He's humble. Great very guy. humble. Very real. And just, uh, he was, Skylar, yes, we met him at a bar and mm -hmm. he was just having a <laughs> yeah. good time, just like us. And it was fantastic. It was a really fun time talking to him, gave us great advice and told us just to stay with it and be persistent and, uh, 
you know, do what we got to do to to get to hopefully where he is today. I mean, we just we do look up to him. Uh, Tim and Tracker, we've talked about them. Oh yes, times. they are. I mean, I look at them kind of as our unofficial like mentors. We do, you know, they're local, so it's great being able to actually talk to them uh, on a personal level multiple times and seeing them in person. And they do great stuff and great mm -hmm. people. Again, when you guys meet them, if you meet them off camera, they are going to be just so nice. They love. You know, if you see them, you can go up to them, approach them, just like we would love you guys to approach us if you saw us. You don't need to be scared. Um, there's no reason. I know that some of you have told us before that you've seen us in person, but you just got too scared or nervous. But we want to talk to you. We love it. You are our family. And I feel like Tim and Jen think of their viewers and followers oh my the gosh. same way. That we've been out with them to Epcot when we were filming the Christmas episode of one of our last shows. And, I mean, they were stopped every, like five minutes and they were so nice to every single person and they just they and they, it wasn't just like oh hi it's nice to meet you nice to meet you okay and then that's it and move on it was like how are you where are you from blah blah, blah. they uh, they're spectacular people honestly did but, anyone watch star trek discovery last night if so what'd you think jeff wants to know oh i didn't i didn't and then this one, I know he didn't. I didn't either. But Lynn, uh, she didn't watch either. And Jeff, she wants to know what he thought. So, but no spoilers, you guys. Don't spoil it for anyone that's watching. But y'all can go ahead and have that. I love it. I love it. You guys have conversations. I know. That don't, it's okay. We don't we're care. All, we're it's all, so all funny. Family. I, love it I don't know. Family. I don't know what Star Trek Discovery is. To be honest with you, I know what Star Trek is obviously. But ooh, yeah. uh, Steph, HHN on Halloween night. Do you think it'll be super busy? Nope. It's gonna be slow. Yes. It's a slow night. That and that I wanna say goes for every Halloween event. Not Mickey's not so scary, HHN, Bush Gardens, a Hollow Scream. Halloween night is the time to go. Also, remember, after Halloween, the event goes oh, yeah. on until November 4th, at least HHN does. I know uh, Not So Scary goes on until November, November 1st. Yeah. So you guys can go in November, the first weekend of November. It's, it's going to be dead. It's, it's, it's a dead. fantastic time. That's probably, if we go back, no promises, but if we do go back, I think I'm going to wait until Halloween night or mm -hmm. uh, November weekend, the first no weekend of November. Uh, under uh, Undertaker Punk, uh, yes, Bill and Ted is owned by MGM. We were talking about Bill and oh, Ted earlier. Universal's not bringing it back next year for HHN. Uh, they don't own the rights to it, and I don't think they want to pay MGM anymore because I think they're bringing the price up on it. So thank you for letting us know. I now know it's MGM. Perfect. Uh, Skyler, have you seen? Have you guys seen <gasps> RV? With Robin Williams. No, I've always wanted to see it. I've always wanted to see that. It's on Netflix, I think, so we should probably watch that. The RV horn is the Star Trek theme. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. All right. I, I love Robin Williams. That is so, that, such a talent. He's such a talent. Hollow Scream why, 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 why? ends October 29th. Really? Then I'm in, oh, that's sad, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Um, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party is sold out. Oh no. Oh, uh, is it really? Oh, for I wouldn't doubt it. Oh, because so this is <laughs> so we funny story. So we were we had plans to go to uh, Mickey's Halloween party in California, and we were late in the game to buy our ticket, but then found out that the whole run of it was sold out. The whole run, and I was like, oh my gosh. That's crazy. It is That's crazy. crazy. It's that a very popular event. It's very popular. But also, I feel like Mickey's Halloween party is a lot different than Mickey's not-so-scary Halloween party over here. Don't you think? It is. It is different. I prefer Disneyland's version compared to Florida's. Um, I like the parade. And I don't know. The overall feel yeah, of the park is right. just different. I think it may, maybe it's just different for us because we don't we are so used to Mickey's not-so-scary Halloween party. But yes, um, I just want to quickly, I'm sorry. To oh yeah, no, go ahead. But Steph Williams, she's going, did you say you're going to be going, I'm trying to look for the comment, probably scrolls up here, but you're going to HHN on Halloween. So if, I'm, now I kind of am tempted to go just because you're going to be there. Um, I want to meet you. And also she asked if we're going to Spooktacular at SeaWorld. I have never done Spooktacular. I've walked through the park. Yes, you have. No, I guess we've done spooktacular. Oh, we did. Sorry, I was getting that oh, confused with Christmas. Oh my gosh! Ah. Oh my gosh! Okay, we did. Yes, we, we did. did. Oh my! Sorry, I can't with you right now. If this wasn't live, I don't even know. Halloween. 
<laughs> and Christmas, literally, they are just back to back pretty much here in Orlando. It's so confusing. But yeah, Jeff says have another beer. I know. Um, can't even remember what we've done. This year it's different though. This year it's a different take. It's going to be, they're featuring a lot of the Sesame Street characters. They've always done a show though, but I think now they're going to be throughout the park doing things because all the bill, uh, the boards around the, uh, the streets and the advertising for it is showing Sesame Street characters and not their, the characters that they created for the event like they've used previous years. So um, I wonder what's going to be like, but I can't wait to go. We will be going, Steph. Uh, Will and Grace reboot this Thursday. Who's uh, watching? Jeff. Yes. Jeff. Jeff, we will be watching that. Will I and Grace reboot. And Young Sheldon premieres tonight after oh, yeah. the Big Bang Theory. I'm very curious to see how this goes over and how it's going to, yeah. Jenny wants, oh, Jenny wants to know if, uh, if, they, if Universal will ever put HHN in both parks. They did in the past. In the past. Um, I think it was two different years that they did it. Yeah, but I don't, I honestly don't see that happening anytime soon. I don't. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, no, I just totally, no, I just lied to you. What? Because, no, short. listen, because, so, oh, leading up to this year, there's been nine houses, nine haunted houses in right. Universal. Right. But, with uh, the closure of certain areas probably coming up this year for certain gaming theme lands and certain things coming to Universal that will be announced... You know, I tend to. They already announced that, darling. But they didn't announce Universal Studios. They're it's going to be here. Universal. Yeah, they did. In our park? Yes, they. When did they do that? No, they didn't. They did it in Japan. No, darling. They did an announcement for the three parks. It's going to Hollywood, Florida, and Japan. It already broke ground in Japan. They already had the, oh. s the groundbreaking ceremony happen in Japan, but they just haven't released the details yet. But they did say it's coming to Orlando. And but anyway, what I'm trying to say is that it's big enough where it's going to take out two spots where the houses are going to be where are normally at. Right. So I'm thinking either they're going to just take out the nine houses or what? Just people say, they did that months ago. <laughs> I think they might end up putting maybe like a house or spread it to maybe, the other park maybe. just to try it out again. I don't know. You I don't. Know. I, I think no. what they're gonna do is if they need to have more houses, they don't use all the sound stages. They have empty sound stages during the event. They'll just put them over in the sound stages. Y'all, I'm burning up. It is hot. It's, the AC just came on. Oh, it's hot over here. The AC just came on. I what was I, I wanted to talk about something. Um, da, 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 Hello from Greece. Ooh. Greece. Hey. hey. <laughs> um, hi, Bent. That's a cool name. I like that. Bent. Uh, um, oh, Steph, your favorite butter beer. Ooh, that's the one the I was. I saw that. That's what I was the, looking for. The regular one. Regular. I don't do frozen. I don't. I don't know. The regular. Frozen, I think, is it's okay, but I I just like the regular butter beer. That's just my favorite. Oh, but I also wait. No, I lied. Oh, am I lying all the time? Um, the hot butter beer is really good. That's really delicious. Yeah, it is. It doesn't taste like butterbeer though. That's the thing. It tastes more like a Starbucks drink, like a coffee. To me, it tasted more like a, a specialty sweet coffee um, and not a butterbeer, but it is still delicious. And it just probably has just as much sugar though. Uh, Jeff, we did not have any booze flowing during, during lunch. lunch. Okay. I was just reading that. We did not have any <laughs> booze flowing during lunch. Funny guy. Well, we went to Perkins. We went to Perkins for lunch. If you don't know what Perkins is, Perkins is like... Um, oh, that's right, some of you don't have Perkins. It's like a Coco's or like a... Village Inn. Village Inn. I'm trying to think of other... It's breakfast and lunch and dinner items served all, all day. day. It's not open 24 hours though, but it's delicious. It's a quiet, nice, casual dining experience with a bakery. And you can buy all kinds of muffins and things, which we have some over in the kitchen. But yeah. What's your favorite icon or year of HHN? Ooh, Undertaker really Punk. Undertaker Punk, I don't know why, but I, I'm sure you've probably watched this before, but I, your screening doesn't, I don't know. I like your questions today. <laughs> so, um, welcome to the show. Oh my um, gosh. I love, my first year working HHN was the 20th anniversary, and I loved the idea of having that icon fear, fear itself was the icon. Now, they've never brought him back. He wasn't even back again when they did the icon scare zone a couple of years ago. But he was scary looking and he was on stilts 
and the scare zone that he was in alone like was just so cool and I had the opportunity to be able to do operations that year I wasn't a scare actor or anything like that but I got to watch every night all these characters and I love seeing all the icons there they're all fantastic and they have this great detailed backstory that a lot of people don't realize that the creators do but fear I mean that's just so neat that they, he controls them all and he, you know it's it was really cool that was a great year my favorite <laughs> uh, Jack Jack the clown only because which year darling well I'm about to tell them oh okay Ooh, she's being jumpy tonight. He said, he said, year slash icon. So I would start with the year, and then go to icon. Oh, of course, my I didn't gosh. do, I didn't do that either. Like, Ooh, <laughs> I'm a kettle she's, right now. <laughs> she's being hot and testy tonight. No, <laughs> no. Um, year twenty five. That was the first year that I worked the event as a scare actor, and uh, Jack was back. And that was a big, I, big, big deal. Mm -hmm. So that would, that was my favorite, for sure. So Skylar asked, and this is a great question, Skylar. Would you recommend being a scare actor at least once? Yes. Yes. Do it Absolutely. at least once. Mm -hmm. um, I did it mm -hmm. not consecutively, but I did it three different years. I was um, a performer inside Saws and Steam. So if any of you saw Saws and Steam as a scare zone or went to the house the following year, give this video a thumbs up. It was amazing. It was such a cool thing. I was the boy that was the victim and I was being shoved into this like actual life-size grinder and I was being like chopped up and it was like a slide and I would slide down and freak people out. That was really cool. Then I was Leon Kennedy in Resident Evil. So I was the first person you'd see. You walked in. Here she goes. Um, can, Here I just, she can it be about me for a minute? Here so you walk in and I was on top of the cop car and I had this gun and I was shooting a zombie and I was like lip syncing to this ridiculous uh, voiceover that you probably couldn't hear and then I was in the purge scare zone which was amazing I love being in a scare zone if you have that to was be the first year too of the purge that was the first year of the purge so I was one of the original purgers and it was really cool and then you were a bunny weren't you I was I was a scary bunny he was a scary bunny I was in um, Alice 3d right Alice no. oh my gosh I just forgot the name of it who oh. He was drinking on the job. That's no, oh, no, I was not. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. I think it was Alice 3D. If you know what I'm talking about, it was year 25. It was, it was the, the only 3D house, Alice 3D. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh I my gosh, so. Jacob has to go. His, his power just went out. Uh-oh. Call. Oh, got to go call the electric company. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay, bye, Jacob. Bye, Jacob. Sorry, I'll be See you later. On. Asylum in Wonderland. Thank you. Adam oh. Miller. Adam. He knows his Oh, he Adam. Knows, he knows his stuff. Oh There's no bleeping here. No bleeping. Oh my We're gosh. We're family friendly here on the Otter Street. Yes, Asylum in Wonderland. I was a scary bunny. And I was in like the mad tea party area. And I would get electrocuted. But let me tell you, going back to Skylar's question about how, you know, if you, to be a scare actor at least once, yes, I would do it because it, it's fun, but it's a lot of work. I remember this one would say, He's like, oh gosh, I'm so tired after, you know, a night of doing, you know, scaring and like, oh, my legs hurt. Oh, my arms hurt. And I'm just like, really? All you're doing is scaring. That, that, what is that going to do? It's so repetitive. It? And it is. And, and after so doing a year of it, I was just like, I don't know how people do it every single year because your body hurts, your throat hurts, you have no sleep. Your feet, yeah, your, your sleep feet schedule hurt. is totally <laughs> off balance because you're going home and getting in bed at three in the morning. But it's so rewarding. It's so rewarding because it's so fun and the people you meet there are so cool. They are so cool. And, and they I take it seriously. Yeah, and I still talk. I still have, I have really good friends from doing it just that one time. Okay, I love it. so first off, um, Caleb, I love your question. We're gonna get to that in one second. What's <laughs> your favorite scare story? But first, um, you guys, this year, I highly recommend Adam Listen Up. I highly recommend going into Fallen. Fallen is a great house this year, and they have like just these things flying all around you. The demons and angels are just flying, literally flying and jumping at you. It's amazing. It's a great house, so go see it this year, HHN 27. Ooh. Now, scary story. This is so cool. This is okay. So I, at the time, my first year in Saws and Steam, I was a scare actor, and that plug though. Yeah, thank. You're welcome. So I. <laughs> Before I was the boy in the grinder, for the first like two weeks, I had this air hose and I was just jumping out of these barrels, spraying people with air. And it's crap, scared the crap out of them, right? And I could get close enough to talk to them. I had transferred from another department 
um, for just the event. So I was working the event, was not working my regular day job, and I saw a whole bunch of coworkers from the front of the park where I worked walking through on team member preview night. So they're walking through, they had no idea because I hadn't talked to them, they had no idea which house I was in. So they were not expecting me to be in there. I see this woman come in, she's from um, Venezuela, and she comes in and she just has this really big personality, right? I got in her ear and I said her name and I sprayed her. She freaked out, ran out of the house, took the emergency exit, a month later, I go back up to entrance operations. She's up there. She comes up to me. She hits me, and she says, that's for scaring me. She goes, you scared me so bad, I peed myself. So she actually had to leave because she was freaked out that someone... <laughs> she was freaked out that someone knew her name, and she peed herself and ran out of there. Holy moly. Hello. So that's one of my... I mean, there's so many stories you got. There we go. So many stories. But yeah, Scary Bunny, I was the, the March Hare. Well, I was not the March Hare, but I was supposed to be... What did a Scary Bunny do? <laughs> I know, what did a Scary Bunny do? I was the March Hare, but I looked nothing like a bunny rabbit. I was in this one-piece white jumpsuit with like a skull cap thing that made me look like I had no hair and... I don't know. It scared me all the time looking at myself in the mirror. I'm a jumping person. This year, just so you guys know, for you big HHN fans, there is no 3D house this year. On either coast. On a, Yeah, on both, either coast. both sides, they don't have a 3D house, which I'm okay with. I wasn't a big 3D fan. Um, I, they, I think they did like the past four or five years in a row. But I don't know. I just think it doesn't really, the 3D thing doesn't really help. I think there's just, I don't know. But I'm okay with their decision. But there is no 3D house this year. So. Skylar said the only Halloween scare event around here is that Cedar, Cedar Fair, Fair Park. Park. Is it good? Have you? I'm sure, Skylar, you've been to HHN or you know uh, Alice Green. So comparing the two, what do you think? Uh, well, do you think of Cedar better? Fair? I would. Well, I would say because not uh, not Scary Farm is under Cedar Fair, right? Right. Yeah, but I'm saying so that company they really know how to so do. So they scares. probably have the same quality. I I'm assuming. <gasps> Skylar, you haven't been. Oh, you've never been. Oh, oh my goodness, Skylar's never go. been. Go, let us know. Tell us go. I mean, you don't have to go, but if you ever go, let us know because I'm I'm kind of curious because not uh, Berry Farm is under Cedar Park Fair. Yeah, Wait, not Cedar Park Fair. Not Berry is owned by Cedar Fair. Thank Inter you. Entertainment, I think, is their official company name. But yeah, the same company that owns Cedar Fair Park owns Knott's Berry Farm, therefore they own Knott's Not Scary, Scary Farm, Farm. Ooh, ooh, and, ooh, ooh, ooh. and yes. they, they, they're the bomb. They're the bomb diggity. They're good, they're good. It's, it, I like is they're all their own thing. I think HHN scares, the thing that really sets HHN's houses apart is the amount of detail and then the noise. And they're so loud, they have so many sound effects and so much <laughs> just music, weird stuff going on. Steph, yes. sit down on this. Sit down. Sit down. Steph just said that I'm, you look like a mixed thing. Sit down. Oh my god! I'm trying not to sink, and I'm, I'm already short. If you, look at that. Oh, I'm gonna regret all of this. Oh, I can't edit this out. Oh, but now I'm your height. Hey! hey. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you're funny. We got less than like ten minutes left. No, we got, we got a whole, we have a whole night, whole night, whole night. Whole night. Here we go. Hey! Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm just. Trying. Oh my gosh, but no, Knott's Berry Farm is fantastic. HHN is amazing. Go if you haven't gone to either oh. event. Tiffany, we would love to. Debbie, happy 60th <gasps> birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. Most to you. Hey. This is your birthday song. It isn't very long. Those are two different songs. I know. I'm empty. Okay. I'm empty. That means the show's but so, happy birthday, Debbie. Oh my gosh, Undertaker Punk. On the same level here. Yes, wait, wait. this fun fact. This is a great fact. I knew this. Michael Eisner wanted to buy Knott's Berry Farm for the Disney America Project. Yes. Uh, look, good for you. Good for you, Noah. Go ahead. Go, right. Come on, history. We love history that. History lesson. We've watched lots of cool videos recently yes. on the, um, the, the failed attempt of Disney creating the America Park. And it's really interesting. A really interesting backstory. So... Cool. Oh, and then you know what also we found out? Another cool history fact about Knott's uh, Berry Farm. Oh. Remember what we learned from Justin Scard? Yeah. Was that Walt also enjoyed going to Knott's Berry this Farm cool. 
all the time. So he had his own apartment there, which they recently tore down. Well, last year. Last year they tore down Walt's apartment. Can you in believe this? Knott's I had no idea. Farm. No idea. Literally was news to me yesterday, and I was dumbfounded because I like to think that I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I know it's like history things, whatever. But when I was told that, I was like, what? What? Blown away. It was cool. Blown away. So Walt was going to have three apartments in three different theme parks. Hey. He's going to have it in the castle here at Magic Kingdom in Orlando. He already had his apartment above the fire station at Disneyland in Anaheim. And he had an apartment in Knott's Berry Farm. Remember, Knott's Berry Farm was around before Disneyland, even though it wasn't technically a theme park. It was more of like a attraction. Just, you know, they had little rides, but it was not to the uh, level that it is today. Um, and Walt loved it, so that's so cool. Yeah. Caleb wants to know how's the um, Irma recovery going. Um, okay, our our apartment, our area. Power. Yeah, everyone has power now. Um, my parents had no power for like it was like a week, week and a half, and they ended up staying with us. And um, but their like whole hallway was flooded, so now they have like no walls, and it's it's crazy. They've had. People coming in, trying to patch up the walls with, what's that called? That pink stuff? Oh, the... Uh, insulation. Uh, insulation. Insulation, yeah. how to redo all that. So that's still going. And there's still a lot of debris out there. Um, but they're picking it up. But everything's coming together. Finally, going back to normal in the life of Orlando. Um, Our prayers are out with those in Puerto oh, yes. Rico. Oh, it's, yes. Um, Really sad seeing mm -hmm. everything that's going on over there. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully, if any of you are watching, I have family or friends there in Puerto Rico. Hopefully they are not, were not, I mean, everyone was affected there, let's be honest. But uh, hopefully they're safe and uh, their life can return to normal sooner than later. So yeah. prayers are out to them. Bogey Golf Guide wants to know, uh, when are you coming to Anaheim? <sighs> Say one more time before it we hurts. go. We got like three minutes left here. No! Um, <laughs> yes, unfortunately, we we're supposed to go to California today. Um, today. However, uh, we. <sighs> I just want to like say what we're doing so I can just explain what I'll the whole do it again. Reason. I'll do it again. We have a big <sighs> project. We're working on a big project. It's huge, and we are not the only ones doing it. Uh, we have a team of great friends and, and hard workers that are spending time on this. And we want to be able to have time to come to all together to really do big things to, to, to advance this project. To film and intros. Film intros. There's a lot of stuff behind it. And what's going on is this week was really the only week where our, our, our team was able to come all together, our schedules all aligned so we can do some really productive stuff with this project. So we said, you know what? This is priorities. We got we got to focus on this because we want to do something really great for you guys. And we will be back to California, though. We'll go back to Anaheim next year probably. Uh, Hopefully, I mean, which we love it there. It's it's definitely it sucks, but we are going to be doing something that you guys are going to love. Trust us. So. Absolutely, Tiffany. Yes, we have uh, all the plans to... of going to Hollow Scream this year for sure, and we will vlog it. So all of you will come along with us, and you'll get to laugh at me screaming because I will. I get scared easily. He cried. I can. T I'm telling I can't, you what, guys. I can't help it. You guys, I have never seen him cry so much after a haunted house or anything like outside of the apartment. I don't know. It just it was insane. Like he was so <laughs> scared of Scarecrow House in HHN. It was the birds just really got to him. He hates the Ooh. birds. So my my biggest phobia is birds, and that Scarecrow House and Halloween Horror Nights over here in Orlando. There is a whole room full of. Pretend birds, and you can hear them flying. The crows, and they're just like... And... Pooping on you. You can feel them poop. It's gross. It's crazy. I was crying, screaming, running, all the emotions, and it was... it was I was a mess. Hi, Gabriel. Hello. Hello. It's Lulu's son. Oh, my gosh. Thanks for watching. Hello. Hello. Thanks for watching. But, yeah, I think... Um, I think this has been a successful, fun Monday fun day, and... Again, we are... Let us know... So, oh, gosh. My hat's there. Boom. Boom. I almost hit you in the head. Oh, my okay. gosh. I'm sorry. So, we were actually thinking of um, doing food and wine for Monday Fun Day. So, let us know if that's something you guys want to see. And if you want to see it, let us know if there's anything very specific that you would like us to do. We can't guarantee it. We'll or take try requests. It. That's yeah. What, well, yeah. Look it up. It. 
look at now that you have a full week do your research do your research on food and wine and we'll take requests and we'll take requests if there's a food you want us to, to try or a drink you want us to try or something you specifically want to see let us know in the comments below and we will try our best to write everything down so we can go do that to give you all the best content that we can get yes. and epcot turns 35 on Sunday. Thank you, Gabriel, for reminding me. Yes. Big deal. Big deal. It's going to be great. Um, I love Epcot. And uh, we, yeah, we, we will definitely see you guys again next Monday. We'll see you before then, though, on Thursday for our vlog. And thank you so much for tuning in for Monday Fun Day. We really love you guys. Subscribe to our channel if you have not done so already. Click on that notification bell so when we post something or when we're live, if you forget, it will tell you that we're live so you can Click tune on. in. Um, if you're looking for some cool uh, theme park inspired apparel, we have Ink and Paint Threads. That's inkandpaintthreads.threadless.com. The link is in our descriptions and will be on this video later on. You can rewatch this video later on as well. But we love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we will talk to you and see you soon, okay? Oh, I love you guys so much. I love you. I love you. Oh, no, okay. don't press it. I don't want them to go. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>